Hey, welcome back, guys. Um, so, again, I am trying to be as consistent as possible, but it's just been so hectic at the shop. I, at one point, I was making a video a, a, a week, but now it's just like, I barely get a chance and I got so much other stuff going. I'm trying to get build a website for my, uh, uh, the, the Alchemist uh, entity and then, you know, try, still try to do this, but uh, what are we up to? Okay, Steph, we're putting a small break kit for him and then he's gonna, he's already sold his uh, GT X35 Turbo um, and we're gonna go with something different and we're gonna change the whole setup since he now has the um, uh, whole motor top to bottom built uh, and we gave him our drag block and ported head and you know uh, Kelfer camps um, the C's and we're gonna go with a bigger turbo and what else we got bang this is a nice setup he's got a built motor uh, not new but built uh, he's got a, what is it, 60 millimeter precision. Uh, he's running a AEM Infinity flex fuel tune. So we're going to make some gems. This car has some issues, so we're slowly fixing it. Uh, had to rewire a lot of stuff, do the fuel system, uh, install the race cluster and uh, AEM Infinity. But uh, yeah, he's almost ready. Now he has a f uh, water pump uh, leaking. So we're fixing that. But today, what we're tuning is a Victor. I originally thought it was a 3582, but it's a 3576. Uh, intercooler piping, he has uh, ID 1700s, uh, runners, uh, tubular manifold for MAP. Uh, the intake is a little small for the turbo, I think. I would go with the three and a half, but we'll work with what we got, intercooler. That looks like a three inch. So previously he made like 470 something. Uh, on E85 and then basically his fuel system failed um, due to some leaks and the fuel uh, pump itself was going out. But since then we fixed it and, and he would have made like 500 um, we were running like, I think like 29 pounds of boost or something like that. Uh, right now we've done the head. We did the maintenance for the timing and everything. We changed the oil pump and we uh, did the head. It's a street head. Basically he has S2 cams with um, uh, GSC conical springs, retainers, valves, guides, seals, all that stuff that we put on. And we should see some difference uh actually do a comparison on what he made before and he's running flex fuel so let's uh let's start that up warm it up and then put it on the dyno and see what's up all right i'm just gonna roll it a little bit to make sure everything is all right Everything feels good. So we're gonna do the first run. Make sure everything is good. And then start tuning. Uh, I got 0% wastegate right now. now. Let's see what he's making on wastegate. As I mentioned earlier, these are S2 cams. 
and he's idling fine, everything is good. Okay, fan. He always forgets the fan. was 22 psi and I set the boost uh, cut at 22 psi so he kind of I didn't get to rev it all the way and the boost cut kicked in This is still at 22, 23 pounds, but super rich, and hence the breakup. Too rich. Yeah, sometimes when it's very rich, uh, the heels running in lines, it breaks up. So that's basically what we saw. We, were run, we ran 22 PSI the first run. Uh, and now I'm going to aim for 25, see what we got going, and also change the Mybeck profile as well. Still very rich, uh, past 65, and it broke up a little bit as well. I don't want to go too far with this because he's going to be on flex. So when I started tuning this, this was at 13%, 14%. That's enough to change your uh, ethanol content. That's enough to change your... Um, fueling by a lot so I just had to redo that that's why he was running so rich because now it's 11 percent but it should be Fueling got way better now. That's good. Yep, he's perfect. He's on 25 pounds as I was aiming. Just gonna clean up the fuel and then basically change to different fuel. Excuse the morons in the back. As I mentioned, they're morons. All right, so we had to mix, uh, We dump the old fuel and put new uh, E85 in. We put 50%, uh, well, five gallons of uh, E85 from the pump. And we also put five gallons of X98 just to get the percentage up. Because right now uh, in, the, in the gas station, it's actually, yeah, it's, it's like uh, 65, 60% ethanol. I don't, in some places even a little, little less. So we got 75, 76% right now, which is okay. Um, if I see it go down a little bit more, since we have a little bit more room, I'll put a few more gallons of X98 to get that up. But right now I'm warming up the car. It seems started right up on E85 map. Uh, looks good. 
one of the questions that I got was, um, you know, I large, I run large cams on some cars. It doesn't chop or it just, you know, smooth idle. Some people want the loping. Well, you know, that's not my goal to get your car to lope. And my goal is to get it to run 14.7 in that range and steady RPM, you know, everything looks struggling. Uh, sometimes when you, you know, try to make a lope, you're sacrificing something, yeah, either not steady RPM or uh, AFRs are erratic, things like that. Link engaged. Just park throttle, make sure everything is good. just ran unusually lean on part throttle. I'm gonna have to check the fuel pressure regulator because he had issues. All right, it seems the relay was kind of backed up. So this is on, I think, 27 PSI. Uh, he's making a lot more power than before. It's around 25, 27 and moderate timing. And to the torque is, you know, up there. This is a 76, not an 82. And this is typically where I would stop. Um, but, you know, the client wanted a little bit more power and he gave me a range of, you know, 425, 430 um, torque. So he's kind of producing a lot of torque, which is going to limit the horsepower capabilities of this. This is still on 27 pounds of boost, moderate timing. Typically, I would have stopped a while back when as soon as it reached 400 torque, but the client gave me a set goal um, to achieve, so I'm gonna infer to him to see what he wants to do. I'm gonna ask Vic. Yeah. Running for boost. I'm checking right now. He was 26 pounds. That's pretty good. Yeah. I love this turbo, man. Sick. Hey, Vic. Yeah. Load everything, all right? You made a file for him, right? Okay.
but boy, this thing is moving. But you you know the bulkhead that you have that you made for the electrical thing unnecessarily? Uh-huh. That one uh, is leaking. So we got to open it up and fix it. Yeah, you're making 533 and 420 torque. All right, that's, that's good. Okay. All right. All right, sounds good. So our drag head, which is very similar to this one except for it's ported, it's just lightly cleaned up uh, the passage. It's not, it's not really ported, but our drag head would have kept the torque down. We made a lot more power at, uh, I think, 2 PSI less. But it's an overkill, like there's no, there's no need for that. These are Vic's final numbers. The lower one is E85 at 75%, and the top is 93. Next on the build is definitely a motor um, build, the bottom end, and perhaps a different turbo. Thank you guys for subscribing. Love, love, love the, all the uh, positive feedback that I'm getting. Um, I'm glad I'm able to help some people. And if you have any questions, email, post, or whatnot, I'll do my best to uh, answer them. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Until next time, be kind to each other.